Today's subject is where to start. I get that question all the time and the answer largely depends on you. Why do you want to learn? How much do you want to learn? How quickly do you want to learn? If your motivation is work, meaning that you currently work at a company that uses PLCs and you want to increase your skill level and get involved in maintenance of the equipment, or if you want to get a job working for a company involved in maintenance of the equipment. So if it's employment related, then two of the questions uh, are answered in that you're serious, you're willing to spend some money, and you need to do it as fast as possible. If time isn't an issue and you don't have any money and you're just curious, I suppose it doesn't matter what brand you use or what particular controller or processor. But if you want to do it fairly quickly and fairly thoroughly and you you want the job market that is the most prevalent in the United States, then you want to do an Allen Bradley processor or controller. And there's uh, several families to consider. The oldest is the PLC-5. I wouldn't waste your time. It's too expensive to buy the hardware, buy the software. Then there was uh, SLIC 500, actually SLIC 100, 150, SLIC 500. Um, the hardware is getting expensive and the software is really expensive. RSLogix 500 that you can use to program SLIC 500s is very expensive. But there is a stripped down version of RSLogix 500 called MicroStarter. Micro Starter will allow you to work with any of the five MicroLogix controllers. Then there is also Micro Starter Lite. It's the same software, but it only supports MicroLogix 1000 or MicroLogix 1100. So let's go take a look at that hardware and discuss this a little bit more. By the way, Micro Starter Lite is free. Micro Starter that programs all five MicroLogix, it's not free, but it is under $200. So if you're serious about increasing your skill level, if you're not willing to spend $200 on the software and, you know, two, $300 on a used PLC, then I don't know. Um, that's probably the, more the hobby level than the professional level. Anyway, let's look at the hardware. Let's start out with the least expensive. The oldest of the family is the MicroLogix 1000. And what came after the 1000 was the 1200 and then the 1500. After the 1500 came the 1100 and then the 1400. Don't ask why. 1000, 1200, 1500, 1100, and 1400. Personally, I would not waste my time with any of these except for the 1100 or the 1400. The 1100 you can program with the free software, MicroStarter Lite. But for the 1400, you're going to need the software you have to purchase a license for, which is MicroStarter. If you're after employment, then the highest installed base in the United States of controllers that require maintenance. Now, there are some controllers that are commodity type projects that might run a small press or a conveyor or something and there's really never any real maintenance to be done on them. But the highest installed base in the United States is Allen Bradley. I don't use Allen Bradley because I have any dog in the fight. I use it because that's the predominant controller that's used in the industry. For that reason, the software developed for programming these and troubleshooting these is more well massaged and developed than any other brand. I don't care what anybody tells you, RS Logix is the easiest software to use on the face of the earth. Now the real bit heads, the space cadets, they might want to argue because they like a more intimate feel with the bits and the bytes. But if you're a maintenance person and that's what you're after, 
is learning to work with PLCs at a maintenance level, then the first thing you're going to want to learn is ladder logic. And you can do it with a free software with the 1100 or with the MicroStarter software that's about, well, it's under $200. The advantage of the 1400 is that you're going to have a much broader range of subjects you can learn. So my recommendation would be the MicroLogix 1400, and it comes in a variety of part numbers, all based on what the electrical interface is for the inputs and the outputs. I prefer the DC in and DC out that gives me the greatest flexibility in what kind of inputs and outputs I use. I never use any controllers that require 115 volts for anything. These all require 24 volts DC that comes in from an external supply that I have attached to my terminal strip over here. And all of the input are 24 volts DC. Now, in this case, uh, I just have terminal strips over here that I can go to simulators. But for a good starting place, least expensive is probably the MicroLogix 1100 with Micro, Micro Starter Lite. So the money you save on the software will cover any difference in price between this guy and this guy. But if you're real serious, buy a used MicroLogix 1400 probably three to four hundred dollars and then buy micro starter for just under two hundred dollars so for five hundred dollars you got to start now i do sell training material for rs logics 500 specifically for the MicroLogix family by the way i call this my MicroLogix galaxy this is every MicroLogix made i only have two of these ethernet ip adapters on here and you see i got it plugged into the 1200 and the 1500. I don't have one for the 1000, but I'm not going to spend another couple hundred dollars to get one of these for this when I all I have to do is unplug it from here and plug it into there if I want to do something with Ethernet to a 1000, which almost never happens. So that's my recommendation. My apologies for the funky light source. I didn't realize that it was going to do that. Those are LED strips and they're on dimmers. And that's where the PWM comes from. Anyway, so that's my recommendation. Uh, Software-wise, like I said, Micro Starter Lite is free. Now, it, it might not be easy to find, but I can guarantee you, you'll find it if you look hard enough for it. Micro Starter is about $170, and you can purchase that directly from your local AB distributor. As far as where to start, as far as training materials go, and how to set up your learning station, I'm going to do that in a different video. So that's my recommendation for which PLC to start with. Thank you for watching.